Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another quick pick prediction video. In this video, I'll be predicting the bantamweight bout between Young Ho Kang versus Batgirl Dana. And I'll see far here between Kang versus Batgirl Dana is. Um, Kang, like I'm looking at, I, I like patterns. Patterns are, you know, everything. And I'm going Kang in this one. Or at least, it's like he has a pattern of beating Dana. But then again, Dana hasn't really fought any grapplers. And the only grapple he did for, I feel like was a, Questionable decision that should have went his way, but yeah. But look at his, look at the history. Grapplers has done that well against grapplers. But look at Kang. His really his losses have come against other grapplers. Not like his he got out grappled, but it was a case where maybe they were a little bit more well rounded, or they just fought a little bit smarter than him, and they won the decision like, in a tight matchup. So really, as most of his losses are tight decisions to grapplers, other grapplers. It hasn't been to strikers. And I feel like Kyung Ho Kang is the more experienced. I think he's more well-rounded. And I definitely think he can bring some aggressive grappling against back around Dana. Definitely holds his own with Dana on the feet. But probably that's not the smartest way to go about it. I have my concerns with the fact that he should have easily won the... Um, not easily, but could have, you know, much easier won... I mean, he lost the fight. But he could have beat Ronnie Yaya. Should have beat Ronnie Yaya. But he... Um, for way too laid back... I guess almost a bit cocky, and that could be an issue. If he fights cocky, he could be, get caught. If he fights cocky, he could lose a decision. But if he fights smart and stays on his P's and Q's and be sharp, this should be his fight to win. Definitely more well rounded guy. I'm going to say like a early third round, I'm going to say late second round submission for Bad Girl. Not Bad Girl. A late second round submission for Young Ho King, is what I'm trying to say. Like he mixed him on the feet, mix it up with him on the feet, enough to set the takedowns in there. And then from there, I feel like he could never really dominate him in the grappling department. I feel like early on, Dana's going to be very muscly, very strong, very stubborn on the ground, like hard to get him down, hard to do anything with him. But I feel eventually, Kyung Ho King will start to break him down, start to flatten him out, start to secure him, control him, break him down. I'll see him topping him out late second round. So in this fight, I got, I don't know, my sounds so weird. But um, in this fight, I got Kyung Ho King via second round submission. 